Hi everyone, thanks for tuning in today. Hope everyone's doing well. Uh, today, what we're going to be doing is pulling off the old handlebars off the 22 Street Glide and replacing those with some meat hook ape hanger bars. Uh, they're going to have a 10 inch rise to them. Um, basically, they're the same bars that are on the 21 Street Glide. Um, nice bars, and um, what we're going to do is internally wire those. So, once we pull these old bars off, we'll uh, take the uh, controls apart. Uh, get to the wiring and um, internally wire the new bars so they're nice and clean and don't have all the ugly wires exposed like they were here on the uh, uh, the standard street glide that we have um, so stay tuned alrighty guys there's the uh, 22 street glide that's what she looks like now We're going to be taking the handlebars off here very shortly. And what we're going to be doing is taking that uh, basic standard street glide and turning it into a gorgeous one off fatty front tire street glide like this. These are the bars that we're going to be replacing here on the 22, although they're going to be in chrome. Um, but yeah, check out that fatty front tire. But uh, anyways, like I said, we're going to be transforming the 22 to look similar to this but in candy red brandy wine so pretty soon de nada standard to a beautiful one off custom total conversation piece everywhere you go But uh, today what we're going to get into, like I said, is the handlebars. We're going to start off by cutting all these zip ties. They have all the wiring attached to them. And then once we get that off is we'll take the bars off the clamp. Disassemble the controls. And... Um, change out everything into the uh, the new bars and then internally wire them so they're not ugly like that and that Ugh. so anyways we're gonna get into it uh, so here we go This one was actually the only one that's internally wired. Uh, but like I said, what we're going to do is when we threw the uh, new ape hangers on here, we'll internally wire all this so it's not all ugly and strapped to the outside of the, the bars. So that's what we're going to do. Go ahead and just let the clutch hang. That will be eventually connected back onto the new bar when we get to that point.
what I'm doing here is breaking the glue. Because these grips are glued on at the factory. There we go. Once I can break the glue, I can get these things off. Voila, it is that. And I can just pull off my control. Just simply slide that back on and internally wire this into the handlebars. Alright, let's do the other side. Let the brake dangle as well. What I also did was put a small piece of cardboard to actuate the brake because there is a small little piece that easily breaks off when you're trying to reinstall it. So what I like to do is put a piece of cardboard in there so it's pushed up and when you go to reinstall it, it doesn't try and force it in there and snap off the, the little nipple that hangs there. So, a little something I'd like to do. do is internally wire this into the new bars as well so they're not all ugly hanging out. This is your throttle that's internally wired here. Uh, we'll be taking this out and putting it in the new bar as well. Okay guys we are ready to go ahead and pull the handlebars off. What we're going to do is loosen up the clamp here um, or actually take it off to remove the bars. Uh, once we do that, we'll pull out the throttle by wire over on the opposite side and um, get ready to internally wire the new ape hangers that we're going to install on here. So let's do her. Voila, that's all you need to do to remove the bars. And then what we're going to be doing here very shortly is taking apart these end. Well, we might try and squeeze them through the bar, but usually what I'll do is remove these ends, we'll de-pin them, and put the connectors back together after we fish them through the bars. 
There she is, 22 Street Glide. Get ready to look all pretty like the one back there. Got the new exhaust pipes or mufflers on there. Sounding good. Looking good. Get ready to put a new nice new rim on the back that will match the front rim. They actually are the same size. The fatty front tire and rim is the same size as the rear. It's an 18 by 5.5 rim, 180 tire. But we're gonna be switching out all kinds of stuff here. Floorboards, brake pedal, shifter, air cleaner, New paint, redoing the gauges, ape hanger, hang, ape hanger bars, all chromed out, stretching out the side covers, stretching out the rear bags, got a five inch stretch on those, CBO rear fender. Um, and some other goodies so stay tuned to the build okay we got the bars off so we're about to put the new ape hangers on but before we do that we need to pull the throttle by wire out of these handlebars First, what I'm going to do is tape up these two plugs so I can slide them out through the bar and reuse them in the new ape hangers. So, about to pull them through. Voila. One throttle by wire. So these are the old bars. New bars. Got the ape hook meat hooks with a 10 inch rise. Compared to these old bars, yeah. Looking good. So we'll go ahead and get these things wired up. <laughs> 